All right, crew, today we're going to look at how we can split an object in Visualize after the fact, and then also just kind of show you your options here on the SolarWorks side of things, too. So I particularly like this because uh, when you're dealing with a single body part, kind of like what you have here, and you click this simple import inside of SolidWorks to get it exported into Visualize, you're really only going to have one thing to paint. So let's talk about some of those options and, and break it down and take a look. Okay, so we've got that imported now. We can see that in our Models tab, all we have is just the one thing to paint, which makes sense. So let's go ahead and do that now. Might as well go to our Metals and go ahead and select uh, uh, Rand Anodize. Sure, looks good. And now we're going to pretend like this placard's kind of on a wall. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and right click on our models tab and we'll go ahead and throw a new wall in space. But we want this placard to be kind of backward. You see they're like same plane right now. So I'll go ahead and select my move, right? And go ahead and move this back just a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, right about there looks good. And then we'll go ahead and move our model up too. That way we can get everything kind of in sequence here. Again, this thing's hanging on a wall. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and make this thing look, look a little bit more realistic now. Um, this back wall can be better for sure. So it's just a wall and it's not painted yet. Let's go ahead and throw on some white paint. Basic white paint, white pearl paint. Okay, white paint, there we go. And the paint's too perfect. So we need to put the eggshell in there, right? So we'll go ahead and do texturing, add a bump. We're looking for like this, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this foam one, sure. And it's a little heavy right off the get, so we'll go ahead and change this to like five or something. And oh, oops, I want to change this to like 0.5 <laughs> and the tile to five, rather. There we go. Um, it looks good, maybe still a t little too, a little too much texture there, so we'll go like 0.1. Again, this is just supposed to be like a nice soft wall. I think that's what I kind of get out of it right there. We'll increase the, the roughness a little bit, maybe decrease the clear coat. And I'd say that looks pretty good. Okay, so now let's get to adding that backlighting and splitting, right? And take a look at those options. So let's go ahead and hide this wall now. We got our picture kind of in there. And I'm going to transition over to this fast mode just to make things a little bit quicker. And this is the back side of the model now. What I'm going to do is choose to split this. Um, this model maybe in two areas maybe like up here and over here to add like an artificial LED even though there's not a placeholder for an LED there I'm just gonna go ahead and add one so to do this you do your part select and you right click the part select edit and then split part now the tricky thing about this is that if you if you if you click a face there's like a little slider and it helps you select more or less if you just take this all the way down to zero then you can control click the different things that you want to select to split. So these are all the, like the little faces in here that essentially um, make up the the uh, the geometry. And so we'll go ahead and you know maybe select a couple faces for illumination, and then click execute split. Now those are separate paintable objects. So now I can go back to my library, look at my emissives, and go ahead and grab like one of these lights, and kind of paint those. Now this white, this light's white by default, but we're going to go ahead and make it like green to make it more fun. Of course, why not? And we'll increase the brightness to say 50. I meant from just the front side of it. Cool. Okay, this looks pretty good. I mean, I think it does anyway. We're, we're, on, we're on the way, right? So let's go ahead and turn our wall back on. And you'll notice that it's like, hey, man, I don't see my emissive. Like, what's going on? Well, that's because we're in fast mode, right? If we were in quality mode, we'll see the, that bloom kind of coming in there. And we're, we're already, I mean, it's already looking much better than it was before, right? This is kind of like, maybe it's at like dusk. You know, I'm looking at this thing now and I'm thinking this anodized needs to be like way less rough. Like give me some polish anodized, baby. Okay, cool. But we can do better than this too. I think there's a couple of things we have in our, in our, uh, in our tools that can make this thing look, even look a little bit better. The first thing we, we I think we should do is just go to the floor caustics and turn those on, turn on um, shadows and reflections. And then we're going to go to our camera and enable bloom. And 
The bloom looks pretty good. I think the intensity needs to come down and the radius needs to go up. Maybe that'll fill up some more here. I'm also kind of thinking too, if I want this, if I want this green to be a little bit more robust. How can I do that? I'm thinking if I just move the wall back a little bit, then I can get it to fill more of the tiger. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. So now to finish this up, I think I might just add a couple lights. Oh, actually, you know what I should also do is change my environment. I haven't done that yet. This is the generic three-point faded. Let's see if that helps. Okay, a little too dark there, but doesn't mean that we can't use something else. Okay, it looks better. Still really dark. Um, let's just go to our scene and bump up the brightness just a little bit and see how that works. Too bright? Yeah, too bright. Okay, let's just go ahead back and add our light then. Bump up the size. Decrease the brightness. Cool. Let this render up just for a second here, see what it looks like. I should probably make that, that light just a little bit bigger because it's not get, getting the bottom of that as well as I probably would like. But yeah, so let's get to 100 passes here and I'll take a look. And there we have it. So, not bad. Not bad learning how to split a model. And maybe it's only one or two components in it or something very basic. Or maybe just adding some highlights to make your model look, or your render, look that much more realistic. Again, taking something very basic, like a single body part with a single color on it, putting it in a backdrop, offering some perspective, some depth. Ooh, depth of field would have even been a good one to add on to here. Add some bloom, uh, change, the, change the brightness, modify the roughness of objects, and just kind of tweak, tweak your model until you get exactly what you like. So I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Adam Hughes. This is my, my visualize uh, quick tip session and splitting parts. And if you like it, hit the subscribe. And thanks for watching. Have a good one.